tonight. We're going to dive deep into the world of backhand surfing. So we've got, uh, we've got one person already, or oh, I can see one person already, and there's a couple of people joined in. So let's get straight into it. No, let's, not waste, let's not waste too much time. Let's, so we've had a few questions and comments that have come in. Let's leave the questions and comments for a minute, because I think maybe the best way to do this is kind of to start with a bit of a story. And you were saying before, just before we came on live, you were talking about... Let's bring your mic a little bit closer, actually. Yep. We were... Uh, Which story? So, yeah, we are using some slightly different microphones tonight. We've been set up to do some filming today. Uh, so we're on different mics. It might be a little bit... Accurate. Looking forward to this one from, from Donovan. How are you doing, Donovan? Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Anyway, let's bring up the standard screen. So, so yeah, yeah a lot of people find backhand way harder than forehand. Yep. So why do you think that is? I think it's, well, if, if, if I'm going to go from what I personally think, I think it's, it almost feels like, like trying to write with your left hand in a weird sort of way. It feels like you're sort of doing everything sort of okay. not in a natural flowing, like even, even yep. just sort of, turn, like for me to turn that way there feels normal, I'm a bit being, being natural footed, yep. but for me to sort of turn this way here, it kind of just feels awkward, like, yeah, I've kind of got to open up around here and... Do you know why it feels awkward? Because I don't do it enough. No, you just can't see what you what you're supposed to do because it's it's blind like it's behind you, where everything in front it's laid out in front of you. It's like there's a camera, there's the mic, there's my drink, so it feels more natural if things are laid out in front of you. Whereas like imagine behind me, it's like oh, like, what's there? Like I don't know what I'm supposed to do, where I'm supposed to grab or, or whatever. Yeah, okay, I get that, yeah. and I, I know that. So so, so we we we're, we're kind of so that's the uncomfortable feeling, not yeah. knowing. Now, we're kind of, and I'm going to use a, a real good pun here, we're kind of racing down the line a little bit here, um, and I might be jumping a little bit too far ahead, but you're saying that it's because you can't see what you're doing, but then yeah. even when it comes to the pop-up, where you can see down the line, I even find that the pop-up for myself is, it just feels more awkward. I don't feel like it happens as fast or as, or as, as smoothly as when I'm going on the forehand, but I can see everything there. So it kind of yeah. takes out the whole idea of not being able to see. All right, so surfing aside, let's get stupid here. Um, do you remember when it was improper for ladies to ride a horse, like straddled? They had to ride side so saddle on the horses. Yeah. Okay. How awkward would that be to turn the horse left? Yeah, that would be really difficult. But then that's because, hang on, let me try and think about this now. Because that's, I feel that that's slightly different because with because then you'd be sat over the horse, legs either side, you've got a really good sort of centre of gravity yep. happening. So I feel that that is slightly different. Or am I wrong? No doubt I will be wrong. I usually am. <laughs> okay. So. Oh, I, hang, <laughs> yeah. hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Right, we've got Mark, Mark uh, Lawler. Hopefully I've, I've said that right. Greetings from the Goldie. Hey, Mark. Look at this one. Big board, big, big board kook lord. Says drinking game. Every time Clayton says front on, we drink. <laughs> There'll be some very drunk people, I believe, by the end of the by the end of the broadcast. Uh, Lola, hi from Derbs by the Sea. Uh, Andy's on. Yoda Skywalker. How are we? Yes, I'm <laughs> sure that you're referring to the post that was made the it's, other day. It's more like, um, yeah, dumb and dumber. Ooh, but okay, anyway. here we go. Here, Ki Kiwi Gus. I actually feel more comfortable surfing backside but prefer going front side. So that's, the, that's, that's an interesting take there. Somebody actually prefers going backside. No, they're more comfortable backside, but it's more fun front side. Okay, yep. Yeah, big difference between the two. Yep. Okay, so, so where about do you want to start? Do you want to start with, because... Well, okay, so when I was a kid growing up in South Africa, we only had right handles. It was kind of like the Gold Coast. Mm -hmm. um, the weather pattern came up the coast and it just pushed right handers like... J Bay, all the points in the south coast, all the way up through Mozambique, it was just right handers, right hand barrels. So I only ever went left, perhaps doing a cutback. And then um, ended up moving to Australia and then went to Indo, and it was like the land of left. And it was like, I felt like a real big kook. So I had to learn how to surf left. And um, my first few times, it wasn't great. My barrel riding sucked. And I think my biggest takeaway for me was number one to relax because if there's any tension your body locks up and it's really hard to move mm -hmm. and hard to see 
the sooner you relax and just start to look like where is everything and on your backside you have to be able to kind of twist around to see where it is so that's where i came up with like part of the coffee cup like it's like past the coffee i can see the lip past the coffee i can see a lip it's really easy but if you've got this hand behind you you're going to try past the coffee and your hand's going to be stuck and you're going to end up almost trying to snap your neck trying to see it mm. okay yeah. so yeah while I was doing all those trips was when we kind of met up with Chris Mills. So he made me mindful of just how the body works. So your knee is a hinge joint. It, it cannot rotate. It just goes forward and back, forward and back. Mm -hmm. Okay. But your hips, those can actually twist around. Okay. And your neck, that can also twist around. So what you need to do when you surf is you want to kind of turn your waist so that you're facing forward. Have a drink. Hang on. Yeah, face... Yeah, face it forward. <laughs> Drink. Okay. Drink. Try to get your knees so that they point forward in the direction that you want to go. And then if you're front on, what's going to happen is going to open up peripheral vision so that you can see the top of the wave, the bottom of the wave, what's happening out of the flats. But as soon as you're side on, where you've got your hands behind you or in a crab position, mm. you lose peripheral vision. All you can see is down the line and... Um, you're going to really, really struggle to actually get purchase on that wave. So if you've got a side on without peripheral vision, you're almost going to slide down to the bottom of the wave. But as soon as you twist... Almost, almost if you're on a slide. Yeah. Whee. And as soon as you turn front on, it actually puts more pressure on your heel edge. And by facing forwards, um, by just compressing and extending, you'll be able to then go up and down the ramp yeah. just from a front on position. And it's almost like being on that trampoline where facing forward, you move more, more easily. But the people that point that are sideways, they end up almost bending the backs and pointing their bum where they want to go. Mm -hmm. But the people that are front on can almost like twist around and see where they want to go and do the turn. So long story short, you need to be facing forward. Yeah. So there's a first golden nugget, the first takeaway. So the key here, and drink again, by the way, uh, I'm going to get you to say it about five times in the next 60 seconds. So the key here is to be facing forwards. Yeah, because it just expands your peripheral vision. Then you're going to be able to relax because you can see your timing is going to be on and you can start doing things. Okay, so facing forwards. By the way, it, you have to drink as well if I say it as well. It's not just <laughs> this is what, if I Doubles. say it as well. So, so facing forwards. Now, I, I think here, and what it would be really worth us doing is almost moving backwards and going from the pop-up Yep or the walk up, however you want to say it, to getting into that position so that you end up facing forwards. Because I, I feel that it's very normal for most people to stand up and instantly end up in the poo man stance with, yeah. their, with, with their back to the wave. So we almost need to go backwards in order to be able, for us to move forwards and go front on, drink. In order for us to go front on, we need to, we need to get that right from the outset and work out how we move our bodies to get that. So we've been seeing a lot of guys putting their, um, their pop-ups on, on surf hacks and, and showing us a lot of the stuff. And Might throw like, us in, but big, big board kook lord who decided that it was his, uh, his game, it was, it was, it was, it was re yeah. really known as Sean, he's damn I'm half drunk already. <laughs> <laughs> First five minutes. Oh. Um, where was I with that? I lost my Sorry, I, I've completely interrupted you and given you a complete pattern interrupt and I don't yeah. even know oh, what, what you're talking so, about. No, I was just saying that um, people have been posting pop-ups. Oh, that's right, yes. And a lot of guys are really good and proficient at getting to their feet, but once they are kind of in their surf stance, that their bodies are locked. It's like their feet are, in diff are pointing in two different directions. Their, bents, their back's bent and they kind of in this really tense stance mm. so the guys need to relax when they stand up so if you're going to have a fight with someone it's really important that you relax in your fighting posture because then you're going to have quicker reactions but if there's tension you're not going to be able to move well okay so you need to be able to flow in your movements so facing forwards and relaxing and and be relaxed now one thing that i will quickly say just before we dive into some more content here is i can see in the comments here that there's 
There's quite a lot of you on that are tuning in from YouTube, so we're, we're broadcasting out to multiple platforms at the same time. If you are not logging in from YouTube, then make sure that you head over to YouTube, to YouTube and subscribe. We have been filming lots of coaches' eyes, which we're going to be publishing. I think we're going to start releasing one a week. I think we might have already started doing that, but that will be uh, they will be up there on YouTube under a playlist of Coach's Eyes. So make sure you head over there, subscribe to the channel, uh, and also share it. Tell some other people about it. Get them over there subscribing as well. So Sorry, and the, the idea behind the Coach's Eye yep. is we want to show some of the world's best surfers, guys that we really, really like. Yep. Okay. And almost and guys you, that you like as well. Yeah. And give you one takeaway yeah. that you can almost copy and paste, like yeah. one thing that you could. Go on your weekend surf and work on by just identifying on someone and trying it on your own. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you, so you could, you could watch a coach's eye before you go in for a surf, and then when you're in on, when you're in on that surf, just keep like trying that one thing that Clayton has, yeah, has noticed from from that surf. And now I'll, I'll be honest with you and say that it's not normally one thing; it's normally much more than one thing. But, uh, but that's what we're. I try to that's what we're sort of aiming for. Okay, so let's. Let me get rid of that. No Superman, Chris. It's 10 a.m. in the morning here in Europe. Is it okay for me hey, to drink? Chris. Yes, it is, because it's night time here. Uh, <laughs> I may have something else I w that I want to get done today. That can, that can wait till, till tomorrow morning if you're uh, you're ever in Germany. Um, they'll, they'll wait till tomorrow. I know that the Germans like to get things done by uh, by the lists and done on time, but they'll be all right. Wow. Madden Mathart from Scotland. I can't even pronounce it. Uh, yeah, I, that's that's uh, Mary Maha from Scotland. I don't know. Do I sound Scottish then or Irish? I've got no idea. But Linda, G'day, uh, right? Okay, look, Andy, and Andy's uh, Andy's get, uh, squawking here. Uh, you keep promising me Taj Barrow. Taj Barrow has been done. We have done the coaches' yes. life of Taj Barrow. It's just in the list. You just got to go over okay. there, subscribe to YouTube, and that will come out soon. It's always five pm somewhere, right? Yeah, exactly. It is always five pm somewhere. So tonight yeah, we have got. Some average surfing. Yep, very average surfing. Maybe even below average. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's it's really hard to like, it's it's really easy for me to go on and find footage of some of the pro surfers. Yeah. Finding footage of really average people is is really difficult. So I have scoured hard and hard across grass. across YouTube to uh, to find some stuff. So I've got I've got some stuff which I think you'll find uh, quite entertaining to watch. So uh, where, where about should we start with this? Well, do you want to watch good technique first and then review the bad, or bad technique and then review the Let's good? Let's watch somebody good first. Okay. Then we'll go for then we'll, then we'll go for the uh, the uh, the average slash bad, uh, okay. and I then we'll, I then we'll finish on the good. Please, one of my favourite backhand surfers is Bobby Martinez. Let's dive into him first. Is that cool? Bobby Martinez. Yes. Okay. Right. Here we go. So let's bring up the iPad. Let's bring up the iPad. Let's bring up Bobby Martinez, and I'm going to shut up and let you just talk. All right. This guy was in the world tour and. Oh my gosh, he is just absolutely amazing, amazing surfer. So look at the flow and the style and how relaxed he is. It's next level. So, all right, at any point, let's just stop it over there. Okay, so I'm going to call this, see the little back arm, all right? See how it's shoulder high? This is called the coffee pass. So there's pass the coffee to the lip, bang. Then he raises the opposite hand up. Okay, so his front arm. Mm -hmm. Now, wherever the front hand goes, the nose of the board is going to follow. Yeah, you can see that really clearly there yeah. with, the, with the two so lines. Yeah, if I did two lines there, there's a relationship. So if he threw this hand to, clear that, if he threw that hand to 12, the board would have gone to 12. Okay. Oh, okay, so ha hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. So Freddie, this, this is one of the questions that came in actually, Freddie Holland uh, was asking about backside bottom turns in small waves. I would consider this to be a small wave, yep. getting to 12 o'clock. So, Freddie, if you're watching, the key to getting to 12 o'clock then is that, that front arm. That front arm. So, if you look at if you look at this, right, so say the waves behind me. Can you, you go to my go screen? Full screen? Okay. I have to grab my coffee cup and I have to swivel around to see where I want to hit. Then it's kind of like if this hand goes to 12, the board will follow and go to 12. If it's only going out there, you'll turn up there. If you swing left to right, the board's going to turn flat. If you swing up and down, the board will go up and down. 
So that lead or the front hand determines the angle of which the board's going to swing around the turn. In saying this, I'm sure there's some footage of you somewhere. I don't know if it is in the online program where you've got a, a surfboard sellotaped. Or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, yeah. To your hands. Is, is that one of the, is that a video within the course or is um, that a separate video? I, I that think that's probably there. some of the free content giveaway okay. that's in a PDF that we've done with guys. Yeah. Oh, but, Freddie, but, okay. Freddie's on, Freddie's on, Freddie's on. He says cheers. Let's just review and see the front hand in regards to, like, okay, I've said this is your clock, all right? Yep. Um, let's see if the front hand goes to 12, because right now he's pointing the clock to there and the board's going there. About 10 o'clock mark. Yeah, so there it is, okay? Now, notice when he comes out of the turn, he does a full oh, turn. I did vertical there. All the way, nose back to the beach. Now, it, I'm just going to say, it did go a little bit more Can vertical. I point out how upside down Bobby Martinez is? His bum's above his head. Yes, so he's not standing up straight trying to do this twist. He's actually getting inverted the same way someone does a roundhouse kick. Mm. Okay, drop your head, kick the tail around. We were... Oh, so this is... If you have watched me having a bit of a rant the other day, this <laughs> we're kind of getting into the same ground here, so we've got to be careful because this was the whole kicking around and, and I was just saying it wasn't quite as easy as you say right, right well, can I can I can I pause you a second okay um, okay they can't see the iPad just as well Hang oh, on. I didn't turn it on yet it's no, I, didn't, I didn't turn the iPad back on again but it, it was amazing cat well here we go Cheers the iPad okay so if you look e at there, everyone chill head. everyone chill we've got the iPad back heads blow the bum there we go so, so he's upside down on that turn that's um right, don't lose that mark it's something special I want to show you Tom, Tom really has got lots of average, lots of footage of his average surfing. Rob loves Bobby. Oh, here's, here's a real quick question. Do you ever wish you were a goofy growing up surfing the rights in Durban? Do you, do you ever wish you were a goofy fair? No, never ever did. Um, never did. Okay. But now that I'm surfing Endo a lot, I absolutely love going backhand. It's like, oh, it's, yeah, froth over it. Excellent. Then there's, there's a lot of you saying that you can't see the iPad. Yes, I figured that out. And then Facebook user John, not John, but I'm going to say this might be Anthea. Been waiting for the backhand. Here's me, a goofy from the land of rights. Yes. Okay, so one thing I want to do, because we're sort of getting into sort of quite advanced stuff here. Okay. I almost want to go back. Have, have, have we got him, that, that initial bit, that bit where you paddle for a wave and you have to stand up backside? Okay. Because that's where well, it all begins. And I think This is almost what I want to show you now. Okay, cool. Okay. Cool. So imagine he's just about to stand up. I know he's on a turn, okay, yeah, yeah, but he's in the same place where his hands are down, head's down. It looks like he's about to stand up. Yep. Okay. What's the first thing that he does? Let's see. So, hands up. Okay, so he gets the coffee cup level and he gets his balance right and he mm -hmm. starts to straighten the back. So, the back's dead straight. He's looking. Okay. Now, you'll also notice that the hand's not flat. The hand's sideways. So if I took your hand and I rolled it sideways, you'd start leaning back. Yeah. Okay. So, so, that, so that is his... His, his rear arm. So his, okay, so his rear arm, angle back slightly. It's okay. tilting back. Yeah, and it's getting the board on rail. Just okay. that, that little movement on the hand there. I can probably zoom into that. Okay. Yep. Then... Oh, wow, yeah. That was, a, that was really good. Okay. So it's a small little section. Now, remember what we said about the hand going to 12? Okay, so there, where does the hand go? If you look at the relationship between the hand and that, it's not quite 12. And then he hits it and lands nose to the beach. Okay, oh. look how high. The, so he's upside down on the turn. Well, his, and then he straightens it's and like levels the hand. The yeah. So if you look there, he is, he is, he is laying, in, like he is floating in midair. So he's not vertical so on the board. He's completely. This is the over. conversation that um, I was telling you about when I was in J Bay with um, Kelly Slater and Taylor Knox, and we were all sitting around the house. And I think Kelly had just, just got the I'm just hanging around the house with Kelly Slater and Taylor Knox, just like you do on an average. There's, there's loads of flat days <laughs> there, so um, I think Slater had just got the Young Guns two DVD, and we were watching it, and. Um, Taylor Knox was watching some of his surfing and he was going, I, I don't like this particular turn. And we're like, well, why don't you like it? And he was going, no, 
um, I'm up too straight. I need to get lower to the water. And we're like, wow, what's, what's the point of it? It says, well, you get more on rail. You're going to get more speed, more leverage. Okay. So basically, the lower Bobby Martinez gets his head through the turn, the more it's going to feel like he's falling down the wave. And that's going to help him bring the board around because his center of mass is falling down that wave. Okay, so as, as your average everyday surfer, I'm going to say that getting to that position there where you are horizontal, I would have this going from my head that I was going to end up face planting, that I'd just end up just, just falling flat on my face well, in, in that position. If uh, he stayed there, he would. But look what he does. He brings the board around and under him to stop the face plant. So there's the turn. So he initiates with the lean, follows through with the twist. So how how can one? That's very good English. How can one? How can one um, start to get to that point where you have that confidence and that commit? I suppose commitment well, to be able to go that that horizontal with your body. That's why I bought up the story about Taylor Knox. After I heard him doing that, I made it a conscious effort of. Every time I've got speed, I try to get as low to the water surface as possible. And you watch guys like Mick Fanning. They bottom turn and they get their hand down and try to touch the water. And on that turn over there, Bobby Martinez has got his hand in the water. Mm, I suppose the, the, the difference here is if you're doing a bottom turn, uh, and obviously on, and you're, you're on your forehand, you've got the wave sort of coming up this way. So yep. it, doesn't, it doesn't feel like you're going to fall downhill. Whereas in this position here, where he's looking down the wave, you, you've, you've then got this, it just seems so, more of a drop. And your forehand bottom turn is your backhand calf. Yeah. And your backhand bottom turn is your forehand calf. Yeah. So it's the same moves. It's just done on different parts of the wave. Yeah. Okay. So you're doing it already, just apply it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 pl I'm trying to play the, the whole devil's advocate here and just ask the questions that I feel yep. other people might be thinking um, because I'm just your, your normal surfer. There's, there's nothing special about my surfing, which you're going to find out shortly. Um, okay, so let, let's carry so on. I, I'm literally saying what is coming into my head as you're saying this sort of thing. We've got, some, we've got a few the things. The big takeaway from me is as he starts going down, have a look at this. Look at that back arm get ready. You yeah. see that? Shoulder high. Now, if you were to drive a car in turn, look at the hand positioning, bang. So, yeah. so this hand's coming up, which means it's like he's starting to steer. So his body language is suggesting to the surfboard that there's a turn coming. Then he waits. And through that turn, passes the coffee. There's a big carve off the top, right back into the power source again. There's that hand up. So, so the, the one thing that I would say is I, I find it easier on the backhand to do that sort of bottom turn and feel like I'm snapping. I know that if I looked at it on video, it would not look anything like what I think it is inside my head. Yep. But it feels easier to do that sort of down... It feels easier to go vertical on my backhand than it does oh, it's on, way easier. on my forehand. Yep. But oh. I prefer surfing on my forehand. Okay. So check this out. Muhammad Ali said, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. So look how light he floats over this section. So if you watch this top turn over here, he just glides across it, nice and light. Look at this floater section. So super super light over it and he lands so light mm. and I, oh, I like his hand coming around there yeah so you can see the back knees doing a lunge he's got the hand up now i think this is the vertical turn that i was frothing out on let me see, let's see no not quite there's one coming up all right see where the hand is ah, okay so if you look at this this is going from almost beyond vert and look where the board goes it beyond vert Okay, so the hand starts, it's pointing, let's say, almost beyond vert there. And then the board, board follows beyond vert there. All right, so can you see that relationship between the, um, the hand, the front hand and the back hand? Yeah, I can. Damn you and your very accurate eye. Even after an eye operation, I reckon you I actually think you might have a cyborg's eye okay. put in to now, see how for this stuff. What's important about this turn is when he hits it, 
Look how upside down he is. Look yeah. at where the board is and look where he is. Now, a lot of people try to ride up the wave standing on top of the board and they want to do a turn standing on, on it. You have to get inverted. And that way you can whip the board around so much faster. Mm. If you're standing on it, the board's just going to slow down. You're not going to create any speed. And this is one of the things that, uh, that when we were skating back at the end of last year was one of the things that you was really trying to get me to do was get to commits. really get me leaning over more. It's, it's, so so, sc- it's scary on oh, a skateboard. It scares the crap out of you, <laughs> but how much quicker do the turns get when oh, you're yeah. inverted? Oh, it's insane. It's like, insane, boom. yeah. You're the like, amount oh, of speed happened? and flow you get from yeah. being inverted is crazy. Yeah. But when you just stand there, it's kind of like, eh, yeah. a little bit boring. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I feel that, um, that for a lot of people... That for I feel that for a lot of people that there I, I think there is a bit of fear that plays there with the with the being that committed to going right over. I, I know that it's only water, and if you fall on water, it's not it's not going to hurt that much. Well, but you, you could have waited like an hour for a wave, and you don't want to fall off that one wave. Yeah, that yeah, you got. exactly. Yeah, so there's different types of fear. And you don't want it like a right idiot in front of everybody. Yeah. Um, I, so I don't seem to have a problem with that. That's why it's fun going surfing sometimes the onshore days where it's uncrowded. Yeah. You're just practicing one turn over. You may fall out like, I don't know, out of 20 waves, you might fall off 18. But when you nail that one, you get the sensation. Your body remembers the feeling and then you know what to do. Yeah. Right, we've got a few comments coming here. Okay, is it, that's, that's very nice. Uh, hopefully I pronounced that right. Suraj, or Suraj, Suraj Regal, I'm not sure. I hope I pronounced that right. Clayton's ability to verbalize the dynamics and his examples are so illustrative. Uh, nice. Joseph van der I feel cut backhand cutbacks and top turns are easier than forehand, and I'm an average surfer. Yeah, so the reason why they're easier is that when you're doing your cutback on your backhand, it becomes forehand, you can see it. Mm. Whereas if you're cutting back on your forehand, you can't see. So what you need to do um, on your forehand cutback is just twist and pass the coffee cup. I'll tell you what, though. I know that I'm not meant to be surfing, but the few times that I have gone out and <laughs> I've not been, cheated. Uh, the few times that I've gone out and not been surfing, but I'm the wife isn't watching. Yeah, I'm, I'm st- so I'm I, I'm riding a, a, an eight foot soft top, so it's um, doesn't it's, count. It's safe. It's it's very safe. If it hits me or anybody else, then it's nice and soft. But I've been trying to get that thing to do cutbacks, and because it is eight foot and it's so long, I've had to hold it for for so long. But when I do finally get it around, it is weird sort of going back along the wave. But then waiting for that foam to hit that big board and then just knock you. It's almost the only back, way to get to again. return as yeah. well by hitting the foam and rebound. Yeah, but it's been it's um it's been a lot of fun, but I think because on that soft top everything happens so slowly that when I do do that cutback, it's like I am now surfing the wrong way on the wave, and like and, and you you really get to feel it because it gets drawn out for so long. So I don't really know why I said that, but never mind. Uh, so right again, Bobby is not a butterfly, more like a hornet. <laughs> Sting like a, play like a butterfly. Uh, yeah. Would you say his back foot is more toe towards tail on this turn? That's referring back to one of the turns. Um, look, the back foot was. moves around so much. It, it d- depends on what you want out of the section. Why don't you focus on what the front foot's doing? Because that's what's stacking his weight and allowing the back foot mm. to move over. So I think stop fussing about the feet so much like okay let's go if, if i want to run and i want to change my stride do i look down and make okay, okay feet go faster all right now hands go faster or do i just throw my hands faster and lean more and then the feet catch up you just do the, the, okay just so do that the means by fixing the top half the bottom half naturally does what it's supposed to do yeah okay but surfers are like oh look the feet are wrong and when they look down the posture's gone the hands are gone and then they can't fix anything mm. it's like oh come on back foot fix yourself stop focusing on the feet focus on the hands it'll fix the feet so the hands will fix so so another, that, that another golden me, nugget just just dropped focus on the, mad, focus on the hands will fix the feet focus on the hands the hands will fix the feet yeah so i'm sure that we can turn that into some sort of Yoda kind of uh, kind of way of doing it. Uh, you're getting a lot of love here tonight. Give Clayton an, an honorary doctorate, please. Uh, okay, backside vertical snaps are one of my favourite surfing manoeuvres to look at in slow-mo. 
the massive twist in the body before the board follows is just so radical to look at. Yeah, it's like a roundhouse kick. Um, it's just like when you connect with one, it's like boom, really, really nice. It's good. Right, uh, let's get some bad surfing up. Okay. Or some intermediate uh, surfing, okay. I should say. Some intermediate surfing. Do we want wave pool or do we want out in the open ocean? Let's get wave pool. Okay. Uh, uh, while, while it's up there, watching one of the coaches I previously on, John John Florence and the others, and couldn't help but notice a track like stance being adopted by most professional riders during their walk up ever incorporate that on the bosu so track like i'm presuming like running track yeah oh, I'm and gonna say that, they're yeah. they're standing up in a running posture yep okay i think so so yeah. when you're in a running posture that suggests movement now what's been frustrating the crap out of me is that on a lot of the pop-ups that people are posting they they Pop up and they look locked, like oh, they're not going to like, like run anywhere. <laughs> it's like dinosaur. Oh. Okay, so you want to kind of pop up where it feels like you could actually like, project and move forward. Don't get too excited here because you want to do the next live about this. Okay. Okay, so don't okay. get too much into the in, into that. I'm already like yeah. about it. So, so yeah. I know that we did the replay last week of the pop up. We're going to do a deep dive. You want to, you, but you, but you want to look at it from a different angle, don't you? You you were saying about looking at this from the coach's perspective rather than rather than the surfer's perspective. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, so next week we're going to be doing the pop up, and what it is is that a lot of people are posting. It's pop up revisited. Their pop up, but they they they're looking at the problem through the student's eyes instead of the the mentor, the yeah. coach's eyes. Yeah, and this has come about because so many of you have been posting up your pop ups inside the group. And it's almost now impossible for us to keep up with commenting on them and, and giving advice. So we're going to do a live on it instead. Well, it's and the same thing over and over and over oh. again. So we want to kind of sort that out. Hang on a cool, come in. There we go. Get rid of that. Cool. Nice and professional. <laughs> so, okay. We're going to get some... Okay, so intermediate surfing in the yeah, wave hang pool. Hang on, hang on. Let me get rid of this. We're going to go wave pool, are we? Yeah. So here we go. Which one was it? Um, it was this one here. Now, as we do this, yeah. we're going to have to zoom in a little bit because um, yep. whoever took this footage did it from miles away. But let's also look at the pop-up on this because I really want to okay. look at the pop-up because this is where it all starts so that we can make sure that we are in that, that proper start. Okay, so is this the first surfer here? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Whoa, okay. Okay. So let's go back and just see the pop-up and I'll zoom in a little bit here. Looks pretty cold. Looks freezing. Okay, it's, I can't get any more than that. Okay, it's as close it's as we zoom. can get. Yeah. So I think that this okay, bit so of footage. So there's a bit of a glide. Hands are up. Okay, so at that point there, can you notice how, if I'll try zooming as much as I can, the surfer's pointing his butt at the wave. Okay. Okay, so yep. in other words, it looks like he's sitting on a chair. Okay, yeah, yeah. So if yeah. you if, if you were to do your usual drawing, it, but you and do that, the front small. hand is almost ankle high. Yep. All right, and the back hand is behind him. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to call that a locked pop up position, as opposed to someone running track. Okay, so what would the di what should this person have done here? Well, what's Bobby Martinez doing? The very first thing he does as he sets up, he's getting that hand up high. Freddie Holland says, that's my local break. So I'm assuming, Freddie, that you are in Bristol. I think this is the Bristol wave pool. Looks like it. It's cold. Okay, so this person needs to stop making their chest touch the knee. Oh, yeah, because they're really bending over there, yeah. Yeah. They actually got to straighten the back, which will get rid of the poo man. And then they've got to, to help straighten the back. If they just lifted the back arm up, shoulder high, mm -hmm. okay, that would, again help raise the back straighter. Yeah. That means they have better balance. Yeah. Which means they're on their way to becoming lighter on their feet. Okay? Then it's a case of just pass the coffee and look at the entire wave. Because right now, they can't see what's happening over here. It's impossible for them to see that. Mm -hmm. They're only using their neck for turning. And if you turn your... Yeah. If you ride a bicycle and you turn your neck, that won't turn the bicycle. Which would probably explain then why... They ended up surfing all the way over here rather than going straight up. Yep. Is that right? Yep. Now, again, look at the turn. They bent their back to the knee. So is there any twist? No. Okay. Now, let's go back to that turn again. And you'll notice that the guy's standing up and his head is way it looks above a bit poo the man. board. It looks a bit poo man from here. It's really hard. It's so small. It's really hard to see. Now, look at the trajectory of the bottom turn. I've ended up a random comment up on there. 
we're not talking about this person being stacked horizontal. This person is not stacked horizontal. They're stacked hor- horrible horizontal. <laughs> 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 all right. So, um, first of all, the person's mid face. So yep. he's not even hitting the power zones of the wave. So it's, it's going to be hard to do a turn. Mm-hmm. Um, the second thing is Bobby Martinez in his turn, he's inverted and upside down. Whereas this person standing on top of the board, weighing it down, making it heavy. Yeah, Mark, so please zoom in. Now, Mark, we, f- uh, I believe that th- this video actually gets a little bit closer in a minute. Um, All right, so ha- have a look at this. Um, it, it, it will get closer in a minute, Mark. We just can't. I, I, I want Clayton to do the pop up. I'm not sure if this video has any more pop up stuff. So from that bottom turn, this would probably take one, two, three to come up and hit the wave, right? Yep. They try to teleport there in a second watch. Bottom turn, done. <laughs> okay, it actually takes time to yeah. ride up. Like Bobby Martinez is raising that hand, trying to pinpoint where he wants to hit it. Mm. This person just going, zap, and expecting to have ridden to the top. It's almost, it's almost like they're doing that as well, it yeah. looks like. It's really hard and to see because it's, it's pretty far away. And again, can you see how it's another mid-face turn? Yeah. So that means he's, he's unable to pinpoint where are the targets that he's meant to hit. Yep. And that all stems from that, that pop-up posture where they were locked, um, sitting on the chair, poor man posture, whatever you want to call it, bent yep. back, all that kind of stuff. But let's see how it plays out. So as this is playing out, ooh. oh, look at that barrel. Nice. Hang on. I, 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 so, so this is right. So it goes in a little bit closer, I think. Okay. So um, just let me know in the in the comments if this is helpful looking at the average surfer because because uh, normally we always have like the really good surfers up. Let me know if this is helpful looking at the average or bad okay. surfer. So let, let's have a look at this. Um, I think we can zoom in there. A Brilliant. Bit. All right. So can you see what I'm talking about where the person looks like he's pointing his bum at the wave where he wants to hit the lip? So his, his butt is pointing that way at the lip. Yep. And if he was riding a bicycle, it would look like he's riding a bicycle that way. Uh Okay, so what he needs to do, he needs to rotate the hips so that his chest is facing forwards. Yeah. And then he needs to get this backhand shoulder high in front so that he can actually see the top of the wave and the bottom of the wave. Yep. Because he's got no idea that he's tracking the entire wave in the middle. Yeah, which... ah. Um, someone actually said about that. I think there, I think there was an, there, there was an email that came in. It could have been from someone called Greg or Emmanuel, and they were saying that they end up surfing uh, mid face. Okay. So again, that posture, just by being front on, have a drink, means that you can then see everything and achieve everything. Yeah. Let me, uh, okay. Hang, hang, we could we could potentially answer this in what we've just seen. So Emmanuel. Um, says it's hard to surf on backside and I'd like to work on both so the big question is, is how can I know where the pocket is when riding backside hang on a minute who's that person <laughs> yes that is me surfing everybody I finally I've thrown myself under the bus for you tonight people that is me surfing the way so this was before I had any coaching with Clayton um, this was pre ambi yes yeah, so this was this was Pre me being part of of of, of the Ombi team, uh, and I went over and surfed the uh, the, the wave pool. I, th- I think at this point I, I knew so we had had a conversation and we'd done the science, but you hadn't started coaching me properly yeah. at this point. So I wasn't going to bring this footage out until I can get back in the water, so I can show you a before and after. But I figured it would be really helpful for tonight for me to just so this is you surfing like after how many years of surfing like on and off like 20 years you said i've been so 20 i'd say 22 22 years of me surfing in the uk then moving out to australia and then surfing australia for about eight so you've known me for what two years now uh it's year and a half year and a half yeah year and and a half two something like that so you've improved heaps in that year and a half i mean you you can't compare the surfer to the surfer that you were or, oh, I'm, I don't know, I'm confused now. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. The reason why you can't hit it is because of that back arm. Yep. Right. If you had, a, like, turned around and pretend that you want to pass coffee to that part there. Right. So, watch the back arm pass. 
So By the way, there every, it is. everyone's loving the intermediate surfer. They find it so much more relatable. So I'm glad. So can you see the coffee? You, you almost want to like throw the coffee behind you. Yeah. So because you don't get that full rotation, the board doesn't come around and turn off that point. It actually goes mid-face and you end up surfing that way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's the cue then for you to be able to hit it? You need to be able to pass coffee and raise your hand to 12 o'clock. Yep. Okay. Almost like, okay, you know if you're going to uh, hit a tennis ball, if you throw your, your ball and you go over your head, All right, you're going to have... Up screen a minute. Okay, if you throw the ball up and you hit the tennis ball overhand, you're going to have a lot more power than sort of hitting it underhand. Okay. Um, so my point being is that look at your front hand. If you look where the swing is, it's an underhand left to right. Can you see there? Left, right. The front hand is doing this. Where Bobby Martinez, he went up and over. So he's got a lot more leverage to throw the board around than someone who's kind of hitting the tennis ball left to right. Does that make any sense? Mm, yeah. <laughs> look at that. I never thought surf coaching had any value until today. Are <laughs> <laughs> uh, we talking tennis? We're passing coffees? We're not, there's no surfing, no surf okay. coaching here. So cool. everyone is finding this, this really helpful. And it, look, we'll, 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 we'll talk a little bit more later on. So let's, let, let's, get, let's get back into some of, some, some okay. of this. So the coffee cup's not there. Yeah. And this was prior to you understanding all yeah, the Yeah, I didn't even know about coffee yeah, cups okay. at this point in time. But then you want to go vertical, but the hand's not going vertical. It's swinging left to right. Yeah. So it needs to be more like a tennis serve. Now, do you see what you want to hit? No? Nope. So you haven't held the turn for long enough. No. So a lot of people when they surf, they get excited and they just try, uh, uh. But Bobby Martinez is like, one, two, three, hit it. One, yep. two, three, down. So the pros hold their turns for longer. Yep. Um, anxious, nervous surfers try to rush their turns and it doesn't come across as being smooth or powerful. Yeah. So... What I really want to get into here is keep going because I yeah I hang on a minute, oh I thought that was more I do in air <laughs> <laughs> no so 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 can we can we just go back a little bit because what yeah. I what I what I really want to do is to be able to give everyone who's watching just a couple of really cool nuggets on the takeoff yep. so that when they stand up they get into into that good position and just make them just really nice and clear golden nuggets so okay. we can do it so let's watch me taking off all right so and. Tell me what I should have done. So you're looking at the so nose of your board. Okay, so 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 this is gonna be tip number one. Okay, so whereabouts should I have been looking? At that point there where you're gliding in. Yep. Where do you want to bottom turn? Because wherever the water's got the most amount of um, how many draw this, the most amount of draw from is yep. where it's gonna throw. Yep. Okay. So ideally if you could have gone that way, you could have possibly hit it there. Oh, okay. So, okay. Now, Clayton hasn't analysed this before, so I didn't even, I didn't even know. That. So you're telling me that I needed to almost come... Fade it, yeah. Like skim that wall. Just Come towards the wall way. before yeah. going the other way. Okay, I would not have expected that to have been the answer. So I'm getting some golden nuggets here now as well. Like yeah. Massively. Because then you could, you'd, have, you'd have so much more area to be able to hit that turn. I'm going to say that this... Clayton is a genius, yes... Even for, for that one comment, 100%. Okay, now have a look at this. Where is the lip? Can you see it? No, I can't see the lip. All right, so just stay there. Put the, let's put us onto the screen over yeah. there. Oh, okay, hang on. Full screen. All well, right. uh, what I'm trying to do here is so I'm trying don't, to think. Don't look at that. Just look forward. All right. Now, what I want you to do is tap my hand. Okay, on three. One, Wait. two, three. Tap my hand. No, wrong, wrong side. Oh. <laughs> Use well, hand. I just try to tap my hand. I don't know where else it is. Well, look now. Oh, oh shit. That's how you're surfing. <laughs> That's what you're doing. You're surfing going, I want to hit the lip, but you don't know where it is. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, let's do this. Hold coffee in your hand. All right. Which hand? Which, 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 I'm pretty really confused so right now. Swing around this way. Okay. Pass the coffee. All right. Now, tap my hand. Easy. Yeah. That's the fix. That's oh. the solution. All right. You see how when you see things, it's like, oh, there's the lip. I can hit that. Do you know what the annoying thing is? Is that it is so simple. Yes. But we make it so complicated. 
We make that, everything so complicated. That is stress. Do you know how hard it is to sit in a lunge position? I'm talking just normal exercise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just lunge, it is hard. So, so number one would have been to go down, head towards that wall to sort of fade it in. Yeah. Because I could, because the key there was to look for about some waves drawing. Yeah, the where drawing do you want to bottom turn? Then the next part would have been to be rotated more, so so that that back knee came in to take me out of the looking like I'm sitting down in a chair. Yeah, to get out of poo man, get more into running man. Running, running man. Yeah, my mind is blown. This is so simple. Yeah, exactly. My mind is blown as well at this present moment in time. And then that allows me then to be able to see everything that's going on. Correct. So that's how we can ensure when we're surfing backside and we're and we're and we're taking off, popping up, walking up, however you want to say it. If we just focus on those few things, that will get us set up so that we've got a good um, a good basis to then surf the rest of the wave. Yeah. So cool. okay. look, that's why we do cardboard surfer. Yeah. So that when you pop up on the cardboard, you need to be able to move it. Yeah. If you do a pop up into this position, no, you no, can't no, move cardboard, right. which means that you can't you can't function. Yeah. And then the next thing we train is is BOSU ball training, where it's you got to be able to twist, pass coffee, and all that kind of stuff. Face forward, face forward, big boy. Yeah, poop. face forward. <laughs> right. Let's look at the rest of it though. And just if you're wondering, actually, uh, Clayton's mentioned cardboard there. That is from the Cardboard Surfer program, which is part of the Accelerated Surf program. If you want to look at the at the online program so that you can accelerate your surfing, progress even faster, learn the complete Ombi system, then head to www.ombi.co forward slash programs. You can either go for the whole entire program or it's broken down in also into modules. So you can buy a, a very specific thing. So I'll leave that link up on the screen for a for a few a few moments while Clayton so continues to analyse. Do you remember the relationship between the front hand and the nose of the board? What Bobby Martinez was doing? So we drew a line where the yeah. front hand was. Okay, so yeah. let's let's look at your front hand here. So yours is low and you swing it Quite. down. I don't, down I don't even there. have a point to the top of the wave. No. Nope. And you, your board goes low and you swing it. Oh, it does. Down that. there. Okay, you led your You're board. Like a You're like a, a puppeteer. Yes. Okay, now imagine if you could have seen this. Oh, this, I'll and tell you. swung what. your hand up like a tennis player, up and over. This whole live tonight is amazing. Okay. Right, there's, there's so much gold that has been dropped already. I'm sorry, I'm trying to look at this and look at comments at the That's same cool. time. So, and the big problem is that from your takeoff, you're, you're popping up into a bad posture. From the bad posture, you're locked and you're tense because mm. you're sitting. Yeah. And then because you're tense, you can't move and you can't see your targets. Okay. And your turns are underwhelming because you can't get your hands free enough to move. Yeah, thanks for the flattery. Um. <laughs> <laughs> underwhelming. That's my key word for the night. It's my big word. But for the would night. you say then, would you say that your that your average surfer is doing very similar stuff to what I'm doing here. The reason why I pulled yeah. this video up is because I feel that... 100%. That I'm not a million miles away from a lot of the other people. So you need to relax, mate. Yeah. Now, everyone's sending us their pop-ups where they're popping up looking like this. And I'm yeah. going, no, 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 no. Don't. Stand up and relax. You yeah. need to be able to twist and see behind you, see in front of you. Stand up like a fighter who's, who's nice and relaxed who can move. Mm. And look, one of the really interesting things that comes from, from hanging around Clayton so much is when we're, when we're in the office and we're talking, we're discussing different ideas, you, as you're discussing things, you naturally sort of start to get into those, into those actions and you, make those move, and you make those movements, like you sort of like stand in the office and you pretend that you're turning and that kind of thing. And it just becomes like just by... Association. But by association, you've noticed even just the way that I stand in the office now and move. Well, you even come in and go, oh, I had a good wave today. And, and you're talking, but your body language is talking with you. And I can go, oh, yeah, that was a good wave. Yeah, because I've seen, <laughs> I've seen Clayton listen to me talk about a wave. And he knows that it was obviously really, really, really bad because of the way that I'm moving my body. But now, yeah, my, so I, I feel more relaxed even on land now in those movements and obviously not being able to surf properly for, for a few months now because of my broken neck, I've been doing a lot of the visualization stuff and practicing a lot of these moves 
I, I think one of the lives that we had a, a little while back, we talked about when you're walking around the house, you sort of like turn around the corners in the house and like you're moving yeah. around that. Like if I'm going to grab a plate out of the cupboard, I'm lunging down to get the plate. Yeah, all, certainly uh, better it's like ride. I'm surfing around the house. My wife just thinks I'm crazy. But all of these things have definitely helped. And it, I think that's one of the things that I love so much about surfing is... It brings some fun back to it all. It, it brings fun, but it also just becomes part of... Yeah, ev- like everything it's every last single day. day. Yeah, you <laughs> live it every it day because you're living for that moment. It's okay. It's phenomenal. Underwhelm. Mark Perez has got is agreeing with you with the underwhelming. Thanks, Mark. Um, I would. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Uh, Keith Richards, yeah, hip, hip mobility and flexibility for surfers, best friend, surf strength coach, yeah, Chris Mills has got a, has got a, let me pull that up, has got a whole bunch of uh, stuff that will help with all that. Okay, Let, let's now compare you to Tyron Martin. Okay. He is an amazing style of surf. Uh, okay, hang on, let me just go through this, three okay. things here I want to bring up. Enjoying this, guys, thanks. Uh, we were allowed to travel to surf from Monday in the UK. I, I, I got the email saying that the wave pool was back open again as well. Uh, at the end of the month. Can't wait to trade these nuggets out. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel for you guys um, that have been in lockdown and haven't been able to get to the beach and that kind of thing. It's, it's been, really been super, super, super tough. Uh, Freddie, the search is on for you. Okay. Uh, I, this was, okay, this was it. How did you learn without coaching? How did I learn? Without coaching. So, were you, so, I suppose the first question is, did you have a surf coach? Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. So, so you learned through coaching? Well, um, I suppose when I was at school growing up and I never had a coach, there were just locals that were better than me. And then I just looked up to the locals until a stage where I was better than them. And then um, I ended up surfing for our state, um, in which case we had a, a coach that mm. took us to all the events. And then I ended up surfing for South Africa and I had a coach that coached the South African team. Um, but I always felt that the coaches never gave me what I wanted. Like they would always go, okay, you've got to do a bigger, better bottom turn. Mm. And i just try harder and my bottom turn would just suck more. Like if they had explained, okay, by bigger, I mean that you've got to draw your bottom turn out for longer. It's like riding a bicycle. The more speed you have, hold the turn longer. Mm. If you're going slower, do a quicker bottom turn. I would have gone like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So they, uh, I couldn't interpret what they were telling me, and they didn't know how to explain it properly to me. And I suppose there's this miscommunication and frustration. And then the harder you try, and if you don't get the results, you just get more frustrated. Your body tenses up more. You can't surf. Yeah. It's, it's a really, really vicious cycle. Yeah, and uh, and also with with regards to that, and I talked about association before. Uh, there's there's this this kind of idea within the world of personal development that you, that you become the you, you become the av- the average of the of the top five people that you spend most time with. So I mean, if you want to become a better surfer, just just find a really cool bunch of friends who who you can go surfing with, and just like feed off of them, like like hang out with people who are but like be the be the worst surfer in the group because you by by default you will naturally start to get better by just being associated with those people it's it's, it's just it just happens organically so um, and that and that that's not just surfing that's every area of your life when i started well. surfing i couldn't swim like i, I was not good at swimming swim. no could not swim i was shocking i was a soccer player went to the beach so um i suppose where i'm going with the story is that Later on, I started training for some bigger waves, and um, we end up doing some like apnea, like breath hold training mm. and stuff like that in the swimming pool. And I was training with guys who were really, really good swimmers, and um, I was always last, always last. But it, it didn't matter. I, I was basically training with better people than me. Yeah. And um, within a short space of time, I really learned how to swim effective and fast. Mm. Um, I can't swim slow though. Because I feel like I want to drown. <laughs> <laughs> I, I only know how to swim fast. I, I like a power. Um, but yeah, I, I learned so much by swimming with better people. And um, they pushed my levels. And mm. he yeah, had a really good winter that year. <laughs> Joseph, Joseph says, I surf with no one. So will I get better or worse? First of all, Joseph, if you, if you surf with no one and you have the waves yourself, then, then that's amazing. Um, but we, well, look, Joseph, you're, 
this community, you are hanging out with some amazing people, so yeah. you're going to get better. You've got 7,000 brothers and sisters at got, the moment. You've got 7,000 amazing people. Cool. Um, so we're going to look at... Uh, Someone who's not relaxed. Okay, cool. So what we've done so far, let me just... Because we're covering a lot of ground tonight. We've, we've covered another pop-up. We, we now yeah. know what a bad pop-up looks like, what bad backhand surfing looks like. And we know what, what to do to correct the pop-up to get us into that, into that right place. Yeah. Let's now look at, because we, we did have uh, Ryan who sent me an email saying that uh, he was disappointed when he saw himself on camera. And believe you me, when I saw that footage that, that you just saw on camera, I was very disappointed. And so hopefully, Ryan, what we're gonna now going to cover is going to help you feel like you've, you don't have that terrible look of, so how do we fix that poo stance that he's talking about that looks terrible? So, so, so we stop looking crap on camera. What, so what's, what's the fix? Well, relax. Okay, so let's... So relax. Cue, cue Torrent. Go face on and watch a video of Torrent. Hang on, let me just get rid of the thing that's up on there. So when, when you were surfing and you said you didn't like the, the, the style of how it looked, you were in a squat position. It looked like you were almost sitting on a chair, right? So that's what this looks like. So... If you look at that, he, he's way more straight up, way more relaxed. Mm. Uh, I do believe that once my mid-length has been glassed and I'm allowed to surf properly, this will just happen automatically. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'll, I want to point out something to you. Look at the speed that he's got. So he's going really, really quick and he's trimming. But when he's trimming, can you see how he's leaning over on the trim? Yeah. He's not standing up straight. So you know if you ride a bicycle fast, you will lean to turn. You won't yep. do twists. So there's no twisting in the surfing. It's all just lean off the bottom, lean off the top, yeah. and he's trimming, okay? And while doing so, he's... Look how he relaxed looks he is. Like, it's crazy how relaxed he is. Oh, he's okay. Just, whoa, 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 it's just whoa, like whoa, he's... Whoa. Th th okay. that's, that's like he's just stood there doing nothing. It's like he right. stood there just waiting for a, for a bus. Now, imagine if his shoelace came undone and he had to tie the shoelace. He dropped the back knee, he lunged, and he's ready to tie the shoelace. Does that make any sense? It makes perfect sense. Okay. But he's facing front on. All right, so have mm. another drink. Um, <laughs> and the knees, when he tucks, face forward. Yeah. Okay. Whereas on your bottom turn, your knees were side on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you have a look at the back foot, I, I know it's hard to see it, but he would have rolled only, I'd say, only his big toe is making contact. The other four toes are off the board. Have you have you um, Got talked a about? On my toe. Yes. Ha, ha, have you talked about when you go to macaronis and oh the callus that I get? Yeah. So bec no, because you're surfing lefts all day every day, when normally obviously here on the Gold Coast we're surfing rights yep. pretty much all the time. As soon as you go to the to to, to macaronis, all of a sudden you, you get a different you get, callus. Yeah, you get, you, get, you get this really sore bit on the side of your yeah. foot because your foot you start to use your foot differently 100%. when you're when you when you're surfing on the backhand. So, a lot of guys are doing pop ups and going, "Oh, hey, my heels come off the board." Mm -hmm. I don't care what the back foot's doing. What's the front foot doing? It's making firm contact. Yeah. Okay. So again, I don't care what the back foot's doing. It moves around all the time. Yeah. The front foot does not move. Um, look at his ankle, ankle, knee, shoulder. Everything is stacked yeah. on the front foot. That's what I want to see. And if you do that, you can relax and support your weight well. So um, <laughs> look at the knee tuck. Look at the front arm. It's insanely good. Look at, look it's, at that. It's so good. Oh. It's so good. If you were to look at my YouTube if you were to look at my, my my YouTube history, now obviously this is purely for work purposes for research, but it would just be a history of me watching Torin Martin. <laughs> oh, it's insane. We've actually got. Um, yeah, you look, look at how he's stacked on the front foot he, and just so relaxed. It's it's that relaxedness, if that's even a word, that absolutely just blows my mind. Is it's just so chilled out. So so, someone's put, look, you, sh you should see me lunge and coffee cup to pick up the top poo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Apparently I'm, I've got some enthusiasm this evening. Oh, that's good. So um, our friend Twiggy from Bali posted some stuff that I shared on the insiders and on the surf hacks. Yeah. And it's about having tension in the water. 
Yeah. So you can't move well through water if you've got tension. But if you're relaxed, you can easily move through mm. water. Um, and what? T- yeah. The more you relax, the more of the wave you feel, and the easier it is to surf. Mm. If you have tension, you're fighting the wave. You're not going to flow well. Yeah. I mean, I know that Andy joked earlier on, and somebody joked the other day about the whole sort of Yoda, Luke Skywalker kind of dynamic that's going on here. But I do remember that when we went out for a, a, a surf once, and it was it was it was quite a heavy. Um, it was quite a lot of um, shore break or, or foam coming towards us. And I jumped in and started paddle, 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 paddle. And Clayton just looked at me. He said, what, it's like, what are you doing? Don't fight the water. You won't beat it. And yeah. Uh, and Clayton just paddled out way quicker than I did without very much effort. Whereas I was there looking like, probably like I was drowning at the time and, we got, and got absolutely nowhere. So look, I, th- I think we covered heaps of topics on, on backhand surfing, but I would say the biggest takeaway is just by being more front on, you're going to open I mean, up your peripheral vision. Yeah. And by seeing what you need to do, your timing is going to become more on point. Yeah. By seeing, you're going to start relaxing and then you're going to start enjoying the feeling of it more. Yeah. And until the point where you actually find back end easier to surf. And um, yeah, I, I, I froth on my back end. It's awesome. All right, it was- was, I think there was another question that came in from, from, uh, from, from Greg. Yeah, okay, see what he... Okay, so here's, here's a good one. And, and you have already answered this yep. within the whole thing, but let's, let's take this as a single takeaway. So if we were to take one big soundbite from this whole thing tonight, uh, I know that we've done the pop-up already, but Greg's question was... What is the one thing to change that will make the most difference to level up my front side uh, with backside, or, or, or the other way around, whichever? Which, which but what's I'm, the one big? I'm thing? gonna say Bobby Martinez's coffee cup. The coffee cup. Yeah, because how? What was it like? It was up. It was in front of him. It brings so much energy. It fixes his posture, makes him lighter on his feet, and from that position, he can target and see whatever the hell he wants to. Mm. Yeah, where's your coffee? It was it's kind of behind you, it was low. Yeah. Um, when I go to macaronis, the first thing I do is I, I take off, I get that hand forward, and then the wave just opens up to me. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. okay, there's the lip, there's the bottom. This is what I got to do. Yeah, yeah. And and in th- in saying that, actually, with, with macaronis, uh, I, I did get an email from them today, and they started advertising again. So will, will you be doing the surf clinics? Uh, if we can travel, year. I definitely need to go put some time in there. I love the place. Okay, so if you are watching and you're thinking, hey, it'd be really great to go on a surf trip with Clayton and also, and also Chris joined you as well on the, on, the, on, the, on the macaroni's trips, then they, they happen end of January, don't they? Every year. Aren't you booked in too? I am booked You'd in have to do as well. From there. Yeah, yeah. How good I, will that be? I don't know if the internet's good enough. No, that's probably not. But um, so... That happens late January, February. It's the Macaroni's Resort. What we'll, what, what, what we'll probably do is we'll, we'll write up a blog about the, about the Macaroni's Resort, actually. And yeah, put we, it up we there. go for four weeks. Um, and it's, so you, can, you, you don't have to go for the full four weeks. If, if you're going, wow, I can't get that much time off of work. You, you, you can come for a week or two yeah, weeks, whatever, week, whatever you week. want. Yeah. And so providing that travel does happen again, then you'll be out there. And I, and I, I believe that they've got, the, the macaronis have actually got a special deal on at the moment. I, I, I believe. I'm not 100% yeah. sure on this, but, um, but, but, but make sure you check it out. Macaroni was a resort. Yeah, if you do want to book in, just um, probably, I don't know, just say Clayton, Surfax, whatever, when you, when you book in and they'll give you a special deal or something. Does the tax man let us claim? Oh, hang on. Let me, let me take us away from Torin here. Uh, does the tax man let us claim macaronis? Ask him for a mate. Need warm weather. Yeah, of course you can. You just got to just, as long as you do something that's, I think it's as long as, you, as long as you do something that's work related while you're there. You're there for a conference. That's what you're there for. You're there for a conference and you can claim it. Uh, where is it? Macaroni's is the Mentawis. Uh, yeah. So off of Indonesia. How crazy are the waves at January and February? Now, Joseph. Uh, uh, the waves aren't crazy. The, the range anywhere from waist high to like just overhead. Yeah, and this was the reason why I had booked in for this particular time because I knew that it wouldn't be uh, too big and it would be a good introduction for me to surfing, surfing over reef and that kind of thing. So it's um, 
yeah, it's a good, good, good time to to go. But we can, I think we can do another live maybe on on surf trips and that kind of thing because obviously it is something that as travel well, comes back in, we'll be, we'll be looking into. I'm I'm really keen on doing some wave pools. So um, again, as soon as we like to travel, I want to do wave pools around the world. Um, so not just urban surf. There's there's wave pools opening up with Wave Garden yeah. in Scotland. Um, there's one in. UK, um, there's one in South Korea. Well, well UK's got Bristol, it's going to have London soon, yeah. I, I believe London, uh, up in Scotland. Spain's got one, Yeah. Uh, Germany's got one on its way in two years' time. Switzerland's got one, I think. Was it Switzerland? Yeah, I think someone actually posted a video from there. Yeah, it looks yeah. epic. So, there's the, so there is basically, the, they seem to be putting wave pools everywhere it's cold, for some, <laughs> for some strange reason. Um. Okay, you're asking what's uh, what's the cost? Just go to the Macaroni's website. All of the information and stuff is on there. We're not going to get into costs and stuff like that tonight. Uh, so we've got pop up. The, the big takeaway is to be relaxed. And when it comes to being relaxed, I think breathing as well is a big is a big part of this. By breathing, relaxing the eyes, so that you do get that that so peripheral I, I vision. I think we'll, we'll cover that next week in the the, the deep dive and the pop up. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Cool. So the, the so the breathing aspect of it. Is there anything else that you wanted to? Matt, I'm pretty stoked with what we covered tonight. I think there's a lot of great. Yeah. Um, go digest that. Go take it away. Um, go, 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 go watch Torrin. Go watch Torrin. And um, my my footage is not up for you to go and look at. That's from my, <laughs> that's from my own private collection. Um, I, I would say we have done a whole series of Coach's Eyes on YouTube. And the takeaways from there are gold. So, again, just go onto YouTube and watch some of those things. And we, we've posted a whole bunch of different surfers, but with all similar techniques. Yeah. So, um, it's, yeah, really, really good thing to go and view. Excellent. So, uh, quick couple of things. Uh, one is next week's live. We're saying yes at the moment, but it might... We might have to, to rethink. I will let you know on Monday because tomorrow you are going in for another operation. Yeah. So do you want to explain it? Because you got me to look oh, at I'm some... I'm just getting a hand operation done. Uh, okay. Fix my hand. My, look, my pinky, it's a bit weird. You've probably heard us talk about it in the past. Basically, what's going to happen um, is they're going to cut Clayton's hand at three... Is it three of the fingers? Yeah, just... You, can I, you can you explain it a little bit? Because you, you you tried to make me look at the pictures on the computer the other day, and it was my, disgusting. My tendons are closing, so my hands doing this. So they're going to cut my hand open, scratch the tendons open, and put my hand in a cast and straighten my hand. Yeah, so th there'll be some juicy scars that look like a shark bite all across uh, Clayton's hands. Oh, we'll be back. We'll be live. It's fine. We can do pop ups. Okay. Um, I mean, Mark, Mark Perez was asking what, what Torrin's last name is, and Martin. Keith is very cleverly, oh, not cleverly, very um, kindly answered Torrin Martin. Yeah, um, Mark, good luck with that. You'll end up going down a massive rabbit hole of videos. There are so many, and they're, they're <laughs> really cool videos as well, really, really nicely produced. Um, so th that, that is that. Also, once what we're going to be looking at doing once we are able to get back in the water, we're going to mix up the content a little bit and start to do a bit more stuff from down the beach. Now, these aren't going to be lives, but they are going to be a bit more of stuff actually in the water, so you don't just get to see this yeah. all the time. So we're going to be looking at doing some content like that. Now, if you found if you found the content tonight, or sorry, not, not the content, if you found the video of watching your average surfer surfing not very well, hello. If you found that really useful and we, you would find it useful to watch Clayton almost telling me what to do, then then let us know because that could be some really good content that we could start to put out there so that you can see firsthand your average, your average kind of Joe out there trying to do some of these things and we can actually work on maybe like a single technique. I know that with the rant the other day we were talking about the airs and I said, right, well, as soon as we can get back in the water we're going to go and do it. Well, that, that could be a really good video. So... If, if if that would be helpful, then 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 let us then let us know as well uh, in the comments below this video. But otherwise, is there anything else that you want to add or not? I think we. No, nah, that, that was a good night. It was it was it was excellent. So make sure that if you haven't subscribed on YouTube yet, head over to YouTube. That is on B Surf. Let me give you the button.
There we go. So there's a button there. Head over to YouTube, watch, uh, subscribe there, hit the notification bell, help us get the subscribers up on the YouTube channel. Also, just... Uh, yeah, I got one last thing to say. Yep. Um, so we've had loads of people join Surfax and loads of people join YouTube. Just remember that the stuff that you're learning from us, we're giving to you freely. Also, share with other people. Like... The reason why we started this is that a lot of people did not know how to do certain things. So um, tell a mate, share it with a mate. Yeah, share it. Don't keep it. Don't keep it all to your own. Yeah, don't all, all, squirrel all it all away. All to your own, yeah. Like a, like a squirrel putting nuts in there, like a hamster or whatever. And nuts in there. Yep. That sounded wrong, didn't it? I've ended on me saying putting nuts in, Put your, nuts in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, don't do what, don't do what, Nat, what Anne said. Just um, share, share what you learn, share your takeaways. Okay, could you also select someone from the insiders group to critique? Yes, uh, Keith. Keith, that is something that we are, we're working on, a, on another plan slightly for that. So, uh, stay. Keith, happy to. We need people to submit some footage. Yeah. Um, yeah, if somebody in the insiders will submit footage, then, then, then we can, then we can analyze it. But they actually got first they, pick of everything. They've actually got to submit the footage to us rather than put it up. Or you can put it up on YouTube, but don't put it in, up into the Facebook group because we can't coaches eye it from there. It has to be um, has to actually be sent to us or put onto YouTube yeah, so that I can download. You can only it. download into coaches eye off YouTube. Okay, cool. So yeah, they want the average share for versus. Cool. So yeah, we'll we'll use me. We'll use some other some other people that are willing to. Have themselves strung up and and uh, put a, sacrificial lambs and put their put, put their put their surfing ego on the line. Um, but look until until the next next live, guys. As I say, it should be next week. But just if if um, if Clayton's hand is is not feeling up to it, then uh, then we'll we'll go the week afterwards. But when we do come back next time, we're going to deep dive on the pop ups, aren't we? From the yeah. coach's perspective. Do so, thanks. Yep. Whatever your biggest takeaway has been, leave it in the comments below. Like, share, tell some people about it, head over to YouTube, do all that stuff. And if you haven't enrolled in the programs yet, then make sure that you do enroll in the programs. Get yourself in the on the insiders group. Uh, there could be some fun stuff happening there once we get ourselves back up and moving again properly. But until next week, that is it from us, guys. Thanks See you all later. Cheerio, toodle-doo, and whatever else I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs>